What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? How you guys doing today? My name is Donnell Lovely, and I'm here on this Friday night to talk to some little business with you guys. How you doing tonight? How you doing tonight? We're super excited. It's December, end of the year. I just had Thanksgiving. I hope everybody's Thanksgiving holiday was well. Hope everybody had some great uh, feast, safe feast with, with, you know, with family, or if you didn't, you had to stay at home, you was able to do it virtually, right? Um, main, main thing, I wanted, wanted to make sure everybody was being safe out there, want to make sure everybody was having a great time. I am super pumped, super excited about tonight um, because I got some good topics that I want to actually discuss tonight. Um, as we close out the, the, uh, the 2020 year, and it's been a crazy year, man, for me, uh, for my clients, for for just my family, um, and everything that 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 comes with that too. So, um, you know, I just kind of want to get on here, man, and and, uh, and get some get some get some gratitude, get some get some enthusiasm, and get some hypeness um, for for the end of the year, and actually looking forward to the 2021 year, um, like we did last year. We're trying to go into the new vision, new vision, new vision, and you know, we got hit in the face, but hey. Everything that happens for a reason, everything that happens for a reason happens for a reason, and only only temporary pains is, is short term gains, uh, long term gains. I'm sorry. So, um, how you guys doing out there? Again, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Donnell Lovely. I own Lovely Financial Services and Refund Tax Solution, where we are a full fledged tax service that we actually provide bookkeeping, tax planning. Um, show people how to structure their business correctly, maximize their profitability, and increase their, their, their earning potential all under one umbrella. Um, not only will we do that, we help you maximize your tax returns. We help you start and grow a six tax business in the essential services industry uh, as far as like taxes and credit and real estate. Um, all of our essential services, all things that we need, all things that, that we can help you motivate and provide. So I'm here today, man, and super excited about this live tonight. Are you teach, treating your business like a business, like a Fortune 500 company, or are you playing games and you treating your business like a hobby, right? Like a hobby. And what that does to your taxes and what that does to your clientele and your business determines um, you know, your outcome, how you treat yourself, how you position yourself in the marketplace will determine how your revenue is, how much money you make, how many people you can reach um, on a day to day basis. So let's ask that question, man. Are you treating your business like a top 10 business, uh, Fortune 500 company, um, like a CEO, or are you teaching it like a hobby, like a side thing, like something to do just to say you're doing it right? Uh, uh, so I want to actually break down what that means, what that entails by acting like a business, like a corporation, right? So one of the things that I actually wanted to talk about was how are you tracking your money? Are you tracking your income? How are you tracking your expenses? Are you actually having the accounts um, processed correctly, right? Like a Fortune 500 company. Are you looking at your your your, your bank statements? Are you looking at your, your cash flow analysis? Are you looking at the trends or what? Where is my money going and, and what are, where is it coming from? Are you setting yourself up to have um, different deductions and credits that allow you to actually uh, market more to your potential clients? So if you're using Facebook ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, where, how are you tracking that income, that revenue, right? Where, where are the data, right? We actually got to use, where are the KPIs, as I like to say, uh, uh, key performance indicators to where you can actually understand um, if I, am I doing good or am I not? Right. That's the basically understands uh, business is actually understanding where things are going, what things are coming from. And the best way to do that is understand your finances and tracking it. Right. So if you don't got, you know, a good accounting system, um, you don't have a good tracking system. Are you just writing stuff down or, or putting receipts in bags or or doing things? You, you're playing like you got to like you're really playing like you're not really serious about your business, because if you are serious, you know exactly where your money coming from. You know how much you're spending. You have a specific budget, even if it's not, you know, detailed in, in, in all the aspects of it, you have a budget because you need to know how much is coming in and how much is going out and where are the trends 
Um, or where am I spending more money at? Where I'm not spending more money at? Um, how am I getting help to expand my business, right? So, man, look, if you're not doing those type of things, then there's a problem, right? So um, I, I see this all the time where I have a lot of business owners come to me. You know, they, they're either in, in, um, in, you know, contractors or they, they work a job, but then they have some kind of work on the side where they, you know, they, they're able to make money and they, they, you know, they come around and they come with, you know, 1099s and things like that with 20, 30, 40, 60,000 dollars in income, but they don't have any receipts, any type of documentation that, that can help them um, maximize and, and do their credits, right? So are you really having a business? Or are you really treating your business um, that your clients expect for you to be as a real business? Or are you playing? Or are you doing a hobby? You know, your number's gonna tell you that, like your income, your revenues. Um, are your marketing, are you being consistent when you're doing marketing? Right. So we already know income driving uh, producing activities are marketing and, 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 and communications. Right. So you already have to market what you're doing, your product and your service. Also, you also have to do your communication with, the, with that as well. So if you're not doing one or the other, then are you really treating your business like a Fortune 500 company? Right. Are you actually being able to outsource some of the things that you don't know how to do, right? Or are you trying to do everything yourself? Are you that one man show that's trying to do too much, right? You're trying to do your bookkeeping, your accounting, you try to do your marketing, you try to create the products, you try to coach, you try to teach, you're trying to to um clean up the office you you, you know you, you're doing paperwork you know you know you you're filing you, you're doing data entry stuff like all these tasks that you need to do what are your key performance indicators that identify what is it that i need to do right now what is the most important task that i need to have what is the most important task that i need to delegate what is the most important task that's generating me the most the most money and at the least amount of time right so i want to work smarter and not harder for my money and my time and my freedom, because that's the whole point of being in business anyway, not to just be running around in circles and just working for, for nothing or just being busy and seeing that I'm working, but actually putting, put positioning yourself to basically fire yourself and be able to have a systematic way to be able to do it. Right. Other another, another two, do you have systems that are in place, right? What is the system? What is the processes and procedures that you have in place for onboarding a client? What is the processes and the procedures you have to have in a contract with a particular individual that is going to allow you to be able to do the things that you want to do, right? So the engagement between us, right? If we're going to actually come to agree and I do a service for you or you do a service for me, what documentation that we have bindingly to have to say, this is what I'm going to do. This is what you're going to do, right? If you don't have your contracts and things like that in place, then you, you know, you set yourself up for look get, um, to be, you know, to be sued. You know what I mean? And this is a sue happy country. So the most important thing that you want to be able to do is to be able to do that stuff, right? Making sure that you have your contracts, your documents in place in order to be able to maximize and be safe, right? So that's kind of what we got one on there.